Hello my friends, today we are going to have a look at how to connect two fly lines with each other. So what I have here is a slow sinking shooting head. And this one is a shooting line, a floating one. So what you need it's a razor blade, shrink tubing, we need about 12 to 15 centimeters, a pointy and sharp scissor, and hair straightener, which you set to 170 degrees. So let's get started. We start with cutting the fly line in an angle to get a pointy edge. Like this. And we do exactly the same on the shooting line. Now it's time to put the fly line into the shrink tubing like this and then we take our hair straightener and start to put some heat on the fly line. <laughs> and you need to put heat on all sides of the line, be sure. For do that, otherwise this won't work. And you keep doing this until you can see that the coating of the two lines has totally melted into each other. So as you can see now, the coating of the two fly lines have melted together and this connection will hold for many years. <coughs> I have been using these kinds of connections when fishing salmon and I've caught fish up to 25 pounds and there has never been a problem with connections like this. What you should think of is if you have a fly line that has, that has a monocore, these connections are not so good to make because there's a big risk of damaging the core of that fly line. So what you need are fly lines with a um, Dacron core so good luck with connecting fly lines and thank you for watching. Bye bye.